use the chicken breast and uh, steak, I guess. I wasn't the one that ordered it, it was my girl. Well, anyway, this is about 20 pounds. 20 pounds of, of food. It was around 8 pounds of steak, and then the rest was chicken breast. Alright, time to go check on the burgers. Ooh, look at that. That's what I want. I want it to have be brown. Grill marks. Brown in color means it's ready. Yeah, I botched. They're not supposed to stick, so I don't know why they're sticking. This is the one, these are the burgers I'm usually get. The other one with one flip and already able to flip on them easily. Alright, let me put some special sauce. Bring it over here. I was going to circular motion. I give it maybe two two layers of of sauce. Then flip it over, and give it some caramelization, flip it again on, on, on the first side. And we do it uh, each side and gets about two of these two of these layers of sauce. I would give it I would give it a dry rub, but I'm not really into dry rub. I'm more into a sauce type of rub. Gives it more cat, more more color, and a good caramelization. I'm gonna take a bite.
on it. Look at that. Flames. The, the burgers are reason the grease. The fat. Hits the charcoal. And it gets more like... Sort of like a... Like it yeah, adds... Adds to the fuel. For the fire. This is why I put the burgers first. And then I put the other, the other meat. Alright. I got this. You guys thought I was, I was, they were burning. They weren't. These four are close to being done because they're close to the heat. These two will be taking maybe another extra five minutes. Ooh, that smoke is overpowering my eyes. If I cough or if I have like a runny nose, that's probably because uh, the smoke is too much for me. I don't know why, but. Whenever I, I grill and it's too much smoke, uh, my eyes tend to sort of hurt. Yeah, like right now I have to pull away. And like a good Mexican I am, I have my music right here. Mexican music. Right now, playing some Jenny Rivera. I know Shep's gonna be watching this because he's Mexican. You know how we us Mexicans are. We gotta we gotta love to watch watch grilling. As you can see, there's no beer. I'm not really into beer. Beer to me. This is going to for meal. Beer tastes like crap. Yeah, I said it. Beer tastes like crap. Expired. Expired. Liquid that's been left out in the sun for maybe a couple weeks. That's a bad beer taste in general. If I had a Dr. Pepper right now, I would, I would have maybe three cans right now drinking them. Because Dr. Pepper is superior to Bill in, in every way. Dr. Pepper was made by Jesus Christ. Because Jesus Christ loves beer. <laughs> Wait, I botched that. Jesus hates beer. I'm going to tell you a little story. Judas, he tried to, to give Jesus beer. Back in the, they went that, they went to the little forest. I don't know what it's what it was called, but that was before Jesus was arrested. And Judas tried to give Jesus beer. Jesus didn't like that, so he beat the crap out of Judas, and he told him he was gonna he was gonna make a drink so that whenever someone drinks that drink, they will get his body. During the Last Supper, you know how preachers say, "No, oh, that's blood." No, in reality, that's that's Dr. Pepper. So, whenever you go and get the little first communion, whatever it's called, and they tell you, "Take a sip," in here, take the little cracker thing. That sip is Dr. Pepper. That's how crazy Jesus was for Dr. Pepper. Alright, this burger's done. Put in the on the side. Put this one over here. So yeah, don't get pissed off at me if I, if, if I offended you, you know. I'm just trying to be humorous.
I'll make some more bars. more bears. This is a 16 pack. Say hi to the pit bull. She's not that to me at all.